On Saturday, August 19th, Watertown's most creative groups, organizations, and nonprofits were brought together at Filipello Park for the third annual Watertown Arts Market. The day featured dozens of different vendors showcasing their goods and services, and WCA TV was on hand to interview a few of them, including some familiar faces. Hi, my name is Marilyn and I'm one of the teachers and students at the Brahma Kumaris Meditation Center. We're located across from the high school, which is soon to be new high school, um, on Common Street. And we teach something there called Raja Yoga Meditation, which is a really beautiful way of learning how to get in touch with the peace and the love that live in you naturally and how to sustain that in your life and how to make beautiful changes for yourself in your relationships, your peace of mind, your stress levels, your anxiety levels, all of those things. So we're the Public Arts and Culture Committee. Um, we are a publicly appointed committee. Um, our funding comes from both the city and grants that we apply for. And we have a bunch of projects that we're working on right now. We have Edible Watertown, and in fact, we have a coloring book for our students mm -hmm. and young folks of all ages. They can come and get a coloring book of some of the indigenous plants here in Watertown. here with Watertown Cable Access. So really excited to be here. So we have three of our staff members, including myself here. So we're doing a couple different things. We have a prize wheel for people to spin if you sign up for our newsletter as a member or if you answer some trivia questions. And this is our second time doing it. I believe it's the third annual. I mean, it's great. I'm, I'm so excited to be back here and you know, we'll be doing the Fair on the Square next after this. So I'm really glad that we're able to attend these kind of events and really put ourselves out there and talk to people and get to know people. Finny Alexander, which is finny7.com, and I'm the artist. I do all of the paintings. And my name is Marquette. I do the sewing, and I help my mom with whatever she needs. My mom's been painting since she was seven years old, and now she's moving on to painting and putting her artwork on t-shirts and different uh, merchandise. And this is our second summer out here doing shows. Um, but we're hoping to be doing more <laughs> in the near future. My name is Kip Langello. I'm from a nonprofit called EASE, which stands for Economic Assistance and Social Empowerment Center. We uh, provide services to homeless individuals, working poor, uh, elderly, and refugees. We provide food and um, clothing and educational. We have art classes and music classes and photography classes. And today we're doing the uh, Watertown Art Smart. It's our first market like this for doing it in order to raise funds for the, for the program. All of the proceeds go directly to the nonprofit. Um, it's 100% volunteer, there's no administrative cost, so everything we raise goes directly to the people that we help. Thanks to everyone who came out to visit WCA-TV's booth on Saturday. I hear it was a great turnout.